And your opener, Powerhouse Hobbs versus CM Punk. So when they first announced that uh, Mark Henry is going to join AEW, I believe one of the first things I said was, I can only imagine how great Mark Henry is going to make guys like Powerhouse Hobbs. And I don't know if factually Powerhouse Hobbs and Mark Henry have been training a lot together, but God, this felt like a Mark Henry match. And on a roster full of small guys who do 7,000 moves a minute and flying all over the place, Powerhouse Hobbs is the guy who does like one big clubber and then just sneers for several seconds. Excellent. Really stands out, and we needed one of these guys in every roster. Yes, every wrestler should be different. This is his alley. So he's even doing the sliding sit-on-the-rope spot, the uh, sliding running guillotine deal. So Punk is making his comeback. Does a top rope elbow and a sleeper. And Hobbs is just about killed on a top rope piranha. And Punk wins a strike exchange, although he is bleeding somehow. He is distracted by Hook. And who wouldn't be? Hobbs bonks into Hook, and Punk hits the GTS, and he wins. A very fun opener. Yeah, far be it from me to give any advice to CM Punk, but I have some advice I'd like to give him after watching night one of whatever this show was, AEW uh, uh, Grand, Grand Slam. Slam. He's got to kick these dudes harder. Because I just watched Brian Danielson kick the shit out of Kenny Omega. <laughs> And then Punk, who was a legitimate, a, he was a UFC fighter. He was, yes. He's kicking about half as hard. And uh, and to be fair, I, I criticized Filthy Tom about this exact same thing. He had a match with Rocky Romero. Uh, you'd think Rocky Romero was an egg. He barely touched this guy. It's just a, the lightest kicks you ever saw. I said, you got to kick these guys. Like in, sa in safe places and everything like that. Yeah. Sure. But he had a couple of, of kicks here that I just thought, man, in this company now... You either got to kick these blokes or don't do any kicks. But he did a good job in this match. Great baby face. Hobbs is a great heel. Just did a great job pummeling this guy. And CM Punk had promised the GTS. And uh, when you see Punk in his gear, he doesn't look as skinny as he looks in his clothes. Because Punk likes to wear black clothes. And so he comes out in his street clothes and he looks really skinny. But it's an illusion. He's not quite that skinny. So, uh, you know, when he did the interview and his clothes on, I was like, you're going to get this guy up for the GTS? And in fact, he did. With ease, he got Hobbs up for the GTS. So, a very good match. I liked it. How Hobbs survived that top rope rana when he landed on his head, I'm not exactly sure. That was uh, that was some good luck shining on him. Also, I really hope this leads to Hook and CM Punk down the road well that is the dream match we're building towards in fact david what do you think of this match i think it's important too to mention that punk's only had two matches in like seven years yeah and watching this you would not you would not know that yeah he's uh i even watched a cm punk match in so long i i i can't uh i mean if i did i probably could could uh better say where he is in terms of 80 percent 90 percent 100 percent but, I mean, he certainly didn't look like a guy that hasn't wrestled no. in seven years. So, and, and kudos to him for putting the trunks back on after... He did look much tights. better. He looked much better in his trunks. Much better. You know what else about this guy, too, that I got to give him credit for is... Uh, his first match back was against a really small man. And his second match was against a really big man. Sure. So it's not like you can even go in and say, All right, I made it through the first match. Now I just got to do it again. No. You had one match you were doing with the little man... And you've got to do a completely different match with the big man. And he did. It was good. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.